All right, we looked at the transition. Now let's look at an overlay a little more. I know I, I gave you kind of an overview in the last video, but what we want to do right now is build a our web navigation, right? We want to have this reveal when we, we click on the little hamburger menu here in this instance. So what do we do? Well, first, let's look at what I've built over here. This is the slide out that we have. Notice I built this at the same um, viewport size to make sure it's in the right spot. Um, you can do different things to, to change its location and things, but I just did it this way as the easiest way because um, this is where I want it to end up, right? So I'm always thinking about the end state um, as I'm building it. Uh, and you'll notice that it actually doesn't have a background to the whole artboard. Um, now, once you turn something to, to overlay, it will just naturally get rid of this, so you don't really have to worry about it, but I just want you to be aware of it. So I go up to my prototype up here, and so what do I want to do? Well, I'm going to click on this. Now, this is going to be a component, so I'm going to have it working in both places when I connect it to once. We'll look at a video later on, on, on what components mean. But I'm going to go to my hamburger menu because that's what I want to click, right? So I'll get that over here and I'll bring it here. Now, I just it always goes to like your last thing, right? So I was obviously playing with it, right? So I'm going to make sure the type is overlay, right? We're tapping, obviously and um, that's where we're going. So now we have some choices, right? How do we have it come in? I mean, we could just have it pop up. We could have it dissolve in, slide in. Obviously, we're gonna want slide down uh, right from the top. Uh, that's probably the most elegant way. Um, and we could change our easing, right? Or use one of these fancy ones. So I'll leave it at snap, our, our size, right? And so um, that's pretty cool there, right? So, so I mean, that's that's what it's set up. Now let's look at it though to make sure it's really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and test this out. Now when I click on this, boom, right? My thing goes up. When I click on it again, because it's an overlay, whenever you have an overlay, it's gonna reverse out um, of the overlay. So technically I could click anywhere and it would reverse out. That's kind of the thing of overlay because there's a lot of times you're doing like the modals, like those little messages that pop up on top of things, right? And they're usually you click on them somewhere to get rid of them, um, right? So so that's how the overlay works, right? But um, that is, uh, that's all you need to know. Actually, I wanted to show you that because I'm using components, I actually have it on both items, right? So uh, we'll talk about that in a later video, how components work.